Hey guys, I'm Ray from Drosmax, and real quick I want to show you guys how to replace the voltage regulator on the Dros Blackbird circuit board um, that controls the magazine in your guys' motors. A lot of the times if your motor stops working, um, the gun, you know, the solenoid pulses, it shoots like it should, but the magazine just does not turn on. A lot of the times that's either your magazine cable is broken on the inside and therefore no longer good or what also can happen is this component right here on the circuit board it's a voltage regulator a MOSFET that controls the on and off of the motor in your magazine that can short out if uh, say your wires break and touch each other on your magazine cable this component will actually almost catch on fire right there so this video is going to show you real quick on how to replace it this is the stock um, unit right there. These are two factory Droz Blackbird circuit boards. And so here's one. Here's one here. It shows the component still soldered in. Uh, and then here's a circuit board where I've already removed it. Now what I want to show you is on the factory board, let's see if I can get it to doing this on my iPhone so sorry for the quality here but you can see this this voltage regulator uh, this voltage regulator has a flat side and it's facing the outside edge of the circuit board the replacement one that we have which is this one here this one also has a flat edge but it does not go the same direction this one goes a different direction and uh, this component here, you can get them for about a bucket piece, Radio Shack, or online. In particular, I use this part number from mouser.com. You guys can pick them up there. Uh, like I said, they're about a buck a piece. Uh, to, to get to your circuit board, if you don't know how to take your circuit board out of your gun, uh, I'll put that, I'll put a link to how to take your gun apart in the... Uh... Hey. I'll put a link in the uh, description for you guys, sorry. So there it is, I already removed the component. Here's the component here that we're going to replace. Notice this middle leg, the middle pin on this component. What it's going to do is it's going to go right here to that trace. That one that goes to the pin, or I mean to the chip right there. That's where your middle pin is going to go. So let's do it real quick. Anyway, this is why I'm making this video on my cell phone. It's trying to do this and record it once is a pain in the butt. But anyway, so there you go. It's in. Notice the way it's pointing. The flat side is kind of pointing off to the left. The center pin is going to the rear, going to the chip. And if you're looking at it from the flat side, here's, here's how you know which way to orient this uh, component on here. There you go. Lots of views. Just make sure you guys turn yours the same way. If you don't, if you do put it in backwards or not the right way, nothing bad's going to happen. It won't short out the component or anything like that. Uh, trust me, I've already done it and didn't do anything. So you can just turn it around in there until you get it right. No big deal. Alright, if you have any questions on how to do this, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks.